So, so Jay, you mentioned uh, health and medical records. So some of this data that we're passing from Salesforce to AWS can be sensitive data. That's right. right. And so um, we know that data is secure in Salesforce. We know that the data is uh, secure in AWS. So but what are we doing to make sure that pipe is secure? That what's the, what are we doing from a privacy and security perspective? That's right. So as you accurately mentioned, Sang, um, you know, security and privacy are like two aspects that cannot be ignored. No. And especially, uh, and, and Salesforce and, you know, AWS both does a great job offering various technologies to make sure all the data, especially when it comes to PHI, PCI data, mm -hmm. and, and the other sensitive data formats that needs to be secured can be encrypted at rest and in transit as well. Uh, but at the same time, to ensure privacy, an interesting feature that AWS offers is private link. Hmm. And I've seen a lot of customers who have um, you know, more than one application that requires access to Salesforce API, front the Salesforce APIs using a proxy service like an HA proxy or, or you know, Nginx, for example, and, and expose that proxy service as a private link endpoint. The benefit hmm. of that kind of model is you don't need to expose your application that needs to talk to, to Salesforce APIs uh, to the internet. They can just create a endpoint of the private link that is exposed by this proxy service, and in complete privacy, they can communicate to, uh, to the Salesforce APIs uh, without uh, even traversing to, through the internet. And we have some plans to actually make it much more easier uh, for our enterprise customers who are particularly interested in, in you know, increasing or up-leveling the privacy aspects.